Marissa Moments. I am Marissa and today is Tuesday, May 5th of 2015. Happy Cinco de Mayo! So anywho, getting in right into the visions, um, the first one, I actually had two today. So the first one had Sofia Vergara. Did I say that right? Hmm, I apologize if I said it wrong. Anywho, she was having a contest to um, basically get like an assistant for the day and um, the entries had to be like submitted through essays and just you know you could write saying okay I want to be your assistant because XYZ so anywho a woman actually enters a contest and her reasoning for wanting to win so bad is basically she wants to show her children that you can accomplish anything if you set your mind to it so she enters and woohoo, she wins. So fast forward to the actual day of being the assistant, the assistantship. I don't know. Might have just made a word up. Anywho, so she starts out and um, Sophia kind of greets her and she's super nice and she's like, okay, well, there's a little surprise hook to this. If you do really well, then I will hire you on full time woman is over the moon because she's been down on her luck and you know she just really needs a break so she's like okay I'm gonna try extra hard and make sure that I nail this so her first task is to go get Sophia some coffee and her dry cleaning simple enough right so she goes through she goes to get the coffee and she picks up the dry cleaning however on her way back there's like all of these different things that kind of come up, all these different obstacles, and she misplaces the dry cleaning, and she's just like so frazzled. So essentially, she ends up having to enlist the help of some of her friends, and she does, of course, find the dry cleaning, and um, she has to make her way through like this pop-up event to get back to Sophia. When she gets back, she's so apologetic. She's like, I'm so sorry. You know, in her mind, she's thinking, there's no way I got this job. There is no way. But um, to her surprise, Sophia knew and almost like she planned for those obstacles to pop up. And in the meantime, she was already having like new hire paperwork prepared for her to fill out. So she got the job. So what's the lesson behind this? Of course, it can be based off of assumptions. You know, the woman had was so willing to accept defeat, it, even though she was already like in there, like she already got the position. And also, too, you know, sometimes perceived obstacles can be placed up purposefully. Is that a real word? I don't know. Anyway, go with me. Um, sometimes obstacles can be put in our way in order to direct us the right way sense I don't know. anyway so on to vision two on to vision number two sorry about the break they were working outside it got kind of loud so I had to cut it anywho Vision 2, and this one I might read a little bit. Um, basically, it was, I saw myself, and again, just to explain as an aside, in my visions, I often appear in the place of the main character. So, the main character can be anyone. It can be someone that I know, it can be someone that I don't know. So, I'm going to refer in this vision, there they go again, anyway, going to keep recording. Um, so, I'm going to refer in this vision to myself as being the main character however please keep in mind that this could be referring to you so you gotta look past it got it got it so I was walking through high school through a high school should I say and there was like this noise of a woman screaming and so of course I like backtracked to go see what what the heck was going on to find out you know if someone was in trouble and essentially I walk into this room where there's this um, woman who is doing someone's hair and then behind them is this man and another girl and he's like kind of being abusive towards her so I kind of pop my head in hello 
and like, what the heck's going on here? You know, is everybody okay? And then I just basically straight up say, you know, I'm going to call the cops. You know, this is, this is crazy. At which point the woman who's doing the other person's hair tells me like, you know, just kind of stay out of it. Don't worry about it. This isn't any of your business. And I remind her that, you know, what if this were like your daughter or my children or, you know, anyone that we knew, would you still take that same, you know, perspective on what was happening? At what point, at which point, of course, she got silent and there was nothing to be said. I look up at the, at the gentleman, we, you know, for lack of a better word, and he stopped in his tracks and he's actually stopped what he was doing. So, you know, I was kind of successful in what I was trying to do to kind of get them to stop. But anyway, um, as far as like the meaning behind this, like when I look at it and think about it, you know, I think it's another call out to say we need to step up. You know, a lot of times we try to use disassociation to remove us from our responsibilities as far as a society or just in general as individuals when in fact we need to start realizing that at the end of the day we're basically all related you know we're just one big cosmic family and if we don't if we don't start looking at each other that way then things are never going to get better. We're always going to turn a blind eye to abuse or into other things that are happening and it's it's just going to continue to spiral out of control. So that was kind of deep. Yeah, I know. But um, that was vision number two that I had today and that was the end of it. So um, that's it. I hope you're having the best day ever. And yes, again, this vision is for you. So why not reach out to me if you have any questions, you know, don't worry, I don't bite, Arr, just kidding. <laughs> and um, I'll answer any questions that you have. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Seriously, I'm just a regular person just like you. I just happen to have visions every day and see strange things in my dome. I'm not crazy, at least not crazier than anyone else. But anyway, this video is running long, so I will cut it short. But as a reminder, don't forget to buy the book. Seriously, you're going to love it. And um, if you have any questions even about what the heck the book is about, ask me. Seriously, I will answer. No problem. And if I don't know the answer, then guess what? <laughs> I won't know. No big deal. We'll be, still be in the same place we started. So, anywho, I will talk to you soon. And have a great Cinco de Mayo. And try not to eat too much. Bye-bye.